Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil 3D tutorial. We're gonna see a bit more into the surface edits on this tutorial. So last tutorial we have seen how to edit uh, boundaries and uh, pretty much outer boundaries, inner boundaries and show height boundaries and all those ones. Um, so this one we're gonna see a bit more into surface edits. Uh, so bring back the file that you had in your previous exercise. If not, I will actually post the link to download the exercise file from the description box below. All right. So once you load the file, so you pretty much see the surface. It's a tin surface. You can select it. You can go to object viewer. And uh, here we go. This is the surface. Of course, you can change the style if you want it. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pick the surface, which will give the ribbon on the top where you can pick what type of edit that you want to do here. So typically um, there is a whole bunch of edits that you can do here. Another way that you can also do is you go to your uh, tool space if you don't have it. Under the home tab you see the big button up here. You can turn it on and off. So this is your tool space. So make sure that when you work on Civil 3D that this is always on because it's not just only for editing and adding and deleting objects. It also gives an indication if some of your update objects are out of date. So now, um, expand your surface and under that you might find some folders. So your surface might be ending up into any of those folders and then um, go to your surface, expand your surface, expand the definition and under that uh, we got something called break lines. So what is a break line? So break line is if you want to add uh, any line features onto your existing surface that you can use the break lines. So how we can do it? So first let's get a polyline drawn. The command is PL, press enter. And then let's go and uh, let's draw some polyline here. All right. So now let's go to break lines, click on add. I'm going to give it a name and there are different types of break lines here. So I will quickly walk you through on the different types of break lines. So I'm going to pick the standard up here and then uh, there is two things that you can apply on top of your break line. So one is a weeding factor and another one is a supplement factor. So the weeding factor is basically whenever you draw a break line, you know, it is actually going to be uh, integrated into your existing ground surface or any other surface that you're going to integrate with. So when you do that, it's going to alter the triangles. Uh, let me quickly change uh, the style so you can understand it. I'm going to select my surface, surface properties. I'm going to change this one to cyan triangulation. Okay, click OK. So now, see, this is all, this is all your existing triangles. So now when I'm going to embed my uh, break line into my surface, this is going to alter the triangles up here. So now I'm going back to my break lines, add break lines. And then I'm going to pick standard and uh, the weeding factor basically uh, from this point, let's say it will calculate the distance of 15 meters. So wherever the 15 meters is, and then it will actually apply an angle uh, check for four degrees. So that means from this point until it reaches 15 degrees, if this line doesn't deviate more than four degrees, then that point will be weeded. So that means any point between that A and B, which is of 15 meters length, will be weeded out. So this is just to avoid uh, too many points uh, getting added onto your surface. Sometimes what happens is if you have information coming from uh, your total station or any other GPS unit, uh, generally the number of nodes that you get depends on the tolerance that you set on your devices. Sometimes it might be a bit more. That means you might get quite a lot of points uh, in a matter of, uh, let's say, traveling from point A to B in a matter of, you know, so few meters. So it's, that would actually create plenty of tiny triangles here. So that additional amount of data is really not going to be necessary uh, for uh, for uh, most of the civil projects. So in that case, you know, you can weed those data out. The supplement factor is just opposite of that. So sometimes, you know, it will be just a straight line running from A to B. And then, um, you know, if it is actually let's say for a longer distance, then you get bigger triangles. So the problem with the bigger triangles is it loses, you know, when you look at the surface, uh, you wouldn't be able to make out what that feature is because it's just one big triangle. Um, so in order to add a bit more detail onto your surface, so you can do more edits and stuff, you can add a supplement factor. So in that case, what it does is from A to B, if it is around 100 meters, 
and it will actually create a mid ordinate distance of one meter and then it will start creating a point at every one meter okay let's go and add this line um, as our break line click on OK select the polyline press enter and now the line is integrated onto your surface now select your surface right click go to object viewer and then you can see that point the new triangles have been created at this location okay so thanks for watching guys so what I would do is um, I will actually do one more video just going through some of the different types of break lines and then uh, we move on to future edits. All right, thank you.